So this is the iPad Pro 9.7 inch. And here is its latest update, iOS 10.2. Let's review it right here. Let's go. So what is up guys, Nick here. This is the latest iPad Pro 9.7 inch, the probably the best tablet on the market in terms of just tablet. It does have that 12 megapixel eyesight camera. But today we're gonna talk about iOS 10.2 on this guy. So let me go ahead and get in there and show you that there is a software update to iOS 10.2 as you can see right here. Let me zoom in just a bit on this software so we could talk a little bit more about it. So you can see iOS 10.2 introduces new features such as the TV app, new and unified experience across accessing TV shows and more. So I'm pretty sure this is about the same as what's included on the iPhone. So you get the TV app, you get emoji features, you get photo improvements. You can pause and read these for yourself. You get message improvements in terms of the love effects. You get music on this baby. You get news improvements and you get mail improvements, accessibility improvements and more bugs and fixes down here now these are exactly based on what i'm reading exactly the same as what you get on the iphone but the reason i'm doing this ipad pro 9.7 update video is because um, i've had this tablet a very long time now but going into general i'm still on ios 10.0.1 so this was the first release of the tablet on you know when they went to ios 10 for the iPad Pro, which I did not do a review on. But what I'm gonna do here is show you how the performance is on the iPad Pro iOS 10.0.1 versus iOS 10.2 and then do the update here. So let's get into that little performance test right here. All right guys, so I'm on iOS 10.0.1 on the iPad Pro and you can see that nothing is open in the background. Now I have been having a little bit of hangs and glitches here. They're very random weird glitches on the iPad Pro 9.7 from time to time, hopping in at applications. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start the timer here and see how fast that we can go through a few of these apps and then I'm gonna do the same exact apps once, once it is on iOS 10.2. So let's begin that test right here. Let's start this in three, two, let's go. So let's begin with some system-based applications first. One, two, three. So we're gonna go on the calendar. We're gonna come back out of there. We're gonna go on the clock. We're gonna come back out of there. We're gonna go into settings. We're gonna come out of there. Let's go into YouTube and let that load up. Let's come out of there. Let's go into the app store. Let that load up. Let's come out of there. Let's go into CNET. That didn't load, so we're just gonna skip scene that. Let's go into news here, and that was pretty quick there. And let's go into Apple Music, and we're gonna stop it right there. So about 29.90 seconds. I did have a little bit of delay on scene that, so I will do that same delay. So it's a fair test when we do the iOS 10.2 review. Also, there will be a 6S Plus iOS 10.2 review coming soon, so stay tuned for that. But let's go ahead and update to iOS 10.2 here on the iPad Pro and I will be back in just a little bit. I just wanna show you really quickly for those iPad Pro owners out there. We do have a capacity right now of 27 gigs, so I do have the 32 gig model, but I have available 8.13 gigs. Now, keep that in mind for when I do this update so you can see if you do gain any space. So let's go ahead and install that right now. I'll be back once it is downloaded. All right guys, so we are now updated to iOS 10.2 here on the iPad Pro as I can confirm right there. Press home to finish setting up iOS 10.2 here for your iPad Pro. So I'm gonna go ahead and press home and it says update completed on the iPad Pro 9.7. I'm just gonna create no passcode at this current moment and just continue without a passcode. It says welcome to iPad. Now let's come back in and I wanna go to the about section of this device and show you that I did get about 300 megabytes. So remember it was at 8.13 on the gigage. So now it's at 8.48 for the gig factor. So I call that the gig factor. It's how much gigs do you save on a software update, the gig factor. So we are now on 10.2 as, as I can show you right there, iOS 10.2 14C92. So this does bring a few new features such as this new TV app. I'm not sure where it's at here on the iPad Pro. Let me see if the iPad Pro includes the TV app. I actually deleted the video app here on the iPad Pro, so that might be why it is not showing here for the iPad Pro. And we're having a little bit of App Store issues. I'm gonna you know, come back in just a second. We're having a little bit of App Store issues right here live on camera. Give me one second. 
Okay guys, the app store wouldn't open because my Wi-Fi was actually not working, but the app store is working just fine now. And I actually did have the TV app installed right here under my Apple folder. So replace the video application with the TV application here for your iPad Pro. And it looks better than ever on an iPad because it's much bigger. And I think this is an application that more people that use an iPad will be using for this device. Also the improvements in this device are gonna come in Apple Music as well. So I'm gonna just cover a few of these improvements before we get into. So if you start playing a song, I'm not gonna play it here live on camera because of copyright reasons. You can just swipe up and now you will see shuffle and repeat under the music. So let me see if I could play something really quickly here without it getting in the way. You know what, now we're not gonna do that. So it's got shuffle and repeat on the now playing screen here. Also within news, you have some improvements in the news application where you can save some of your feeds and stuff like that. And it has a better swiping mechanism for when you're going through your top stories for the iPad Pro in the news. Also, there was some accessibility improvements as well as some bugs that were in the mail folder. So if you use the mail application on your iPad Pro, which I don't, you will have a few fixes there. Also a few fixes within the photos improvements, but those were mostly for the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. So yeah, no new wallpapers here for the iPad Pro. If I go over here into wallpapers, you can see no new wallpapers here on the iPad Pro. Still the minor selection that Apple gave you with iOS 10.2. So let me go ahead and close everything out here. That was pretty much the features you're gonna get with iOS 10.2 here. Also, I do wanna mention that you will be getting the whole you know, message improvements here. So I'm not gonna go into my iMessages, but let me see if I can open up some notes here and show you what I'm talking about. Give me just a second here to get a blank note. So here we are on a blank note, and you will see that if I decide to bring up the keyboard here, I don't know what I'm doing here with this right here. Let's go ahead and bring up the keyboard here. You will see on the iPad Pro, just like the iPhone, you are gonna get all the updated emojis here, which look bigger than ever on the iPad Pro. They look pretty awesome here for your iPad Pro 9.7 or any other iPad that you may have. So you will get all those new emoji functions here on the iPad Pro. But with that being said, let's test the new performance of this guy. Cause like I said, I did have some issues with the performance in terms of some lagging apps. Apps lagged a little bit and glitched out a little bit on 10.0.2. Now don't get me wrong. This still thing, this thing is still blazing fast. Probably one of the most fast iOS products out right now, right behind the iPhone 7. This has an A9X CPU, so we're only slightly behind the iPhone 7 here. And it does have the True Tone display, which is exactly the same DP3 display cinema grade from the iPhone 7. So 29.9 on the last test. Let's do this one again in three, two, let's go. So calendar, let's come out of there. Let's go on the clock, let's come out of there. Let's go into settings, let's come out of there. Then we went into CNET and we waited just a little bit. And let's come out of there, let's go into YouTube. And let's come out of there, then we went into Apple Music. Let's come out of there, and then I think that was it. So let's stop that. So 22.88, actually, you know what, let's keep going, because I think I did the App Store. So we did the App Store, let's see how quick that opens, let's come out. So about 26.07. So this is definitely a bit snappier on the iPad Pro 9.7, 10.2. Like I say, this is not a scientific test. I might, I might have been a little bit off there, but I am seeing a speed improvement here for iOS 10.2. So overall, should you update the iOS 10.2 on your iPad Pro? Most definitely you should. There was some bugs, like I say, on iOS 10.0.2 for the iPad Pro. And this, this tablet right here is just a screamer. And why not update it and make it even more of a screamer? It's just wicked fast here for the iPad Pro. 9.7. So if you guys enjoyed this review, please do me a favor by leaving this video a thumbs up, subscribing to the channel for more technology videos like this. I also will have iPhone 6S coverage coming soon, as well as other iPhone coverage, as well as Android coverage as well. This is not only an Apple channel for all of you that might think that. And uh, have a great day wherever you are. Be sure to be well. This was Nick here, helping you to master your technology and enhance your life experience. Have a great day. Uh, and, uh, peace.